In these first 12 days, examine your conscience, pray, practice renouncement of your own will, mortification, purity of heart. This purity is the indispensable condition for contemplating God in heaven, to see him on earth and to know him by the light of faith. The first part of the preparation should be employed in casting off the spirit of the world, which is contrary to that of Jesus Christ. The spirit of the world consists essentially in the denial of the supreme dominion of God, a denial which is manifested in practice by sin and disobedience. Thus, it is principally opposed to the spirit of Christ, which is also that of Mary. It manifests itself by the concupiscence of the flesh, by the concupiscence of the eyes, and by the pride of life. By disobedience to God's laws and the abuse of created things, its works are sin in all forms, then all else by which the devil leads to sin, works which bring error and darkness to the mind, and seduction and corruption to the will. Its pomps are the splendor and the charms employed by the devil to render sin alluring in persons, places, and things. Day 1 And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain, and when he was set down, his disciples came unto him, and opening his mouth he taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the meek, for they shall possess the land. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after justice, for they shall have their fill. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are they that suffer persecution for justice sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye that they shall revile you and persecute you and speak all that is evil against you untruly for my sake. Be glad and rejoice, for your reward is very great in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets that were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt lose its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is good for nothing any more but to be cast out and to be trodden on by men. You are the light of the world. A city seated on a mountain cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but upon a candlestick, that it may shine to all that are in the house. So let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Do not think that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For amen I say unto you, Till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall not pass of the law, till all be fulfilled. He therefore that shall break one of these least commandments, and shall so teach men, shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But he that shall do and teach, he shall be great in the kingdom of heaven. Come Holy Spirit, Creator blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid, to fill the hearts which thou hast made. O Comforter, to thee we cry, O heavenly gift of God most high, O fount of life, and fire of love, and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gifts are known, thou finger of God's hand we own. Thou promise of the Father, thou who dost the tongue with power imbue. Kindle our senses from above, and make our hearts o'erflow with love. With patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Far from us strive the foe we dread, and grant us thy peace instead. So shall we not, with thee for guide, turn from the path of life aside. O may thy grace on us bestow, the Father and the Son to know, 
and thee through endless times confessed, of both the eternal Spirit blessed. Now to the Father and the Son, who rose from death, be glory given. With thou, O holy Comforter, henceforth by all in earth and heaven. Amen. Hail, O star of the ocean, God's own mother blessed, ever sinless virgin, gate of heavenly rest. Taking that sweet Ave, which from Gabriel came, peace confirm within us, changing Eve's name. Break the sinner's fetters, make our blindness day. Chase all evils from us, for all blessings pray. Show thyself a mother, may the word divine, born for us thine infant, hear our prayers through thine. Virgin all excelling, mildest of the mild, free from guilt preserve us, meek and undefiled. Keep our life all spotless, make our way secure, till we find in Jesus joy for evermore. Praise to God the Father, honor to the Son, in the Holy Spirit, be the glory one. Amen. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour, because he has regarded the humility of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, because he that is mighty hath done great things to me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is from generation to generation to them that fear him. He hath showed might in his arm, he hath scattered the proud in the conceit of their heart, he hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He hath received Israel his servant, being mindful of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.